We have more than 100,000 Tennesseans with developmental disabilities. When you expand that group to include people who acquire a disability after the age of 22, like military men and women coming home from war, or people with traumatic brain or spinal cord injuries, the number grows by a factor of 10. You know, more than a million Tennesseans have a disability that will require some kind of support for the rest of their lives. With this level of need and the state's investment of time and taxpayer dollars, we have a responsibility to get it right. Well, that's what the Tennessee Leadership Academy for Excellence in Disability Services is about. It's about identifying the next generation of leaders in state government, giving them the training and the tools to refine the way that we provide services and supports. It's about making the connections between departments and agencies that work with similar groups of people, or even some of the same people. It's about setting values and goals that drive the decisions that we make. It's about staying up to date on best practices and focusing on the people that we serve and support. But most importantly, it's about working together to increase the impact that we can have to improve the lives of Tennesseans with disabilities. To those involved in this effort, we are grateful for your hard work on this important project, and we encourage you in all that you do to support Tennesseans with disabilities. Thank you very, very much. If you look at some of the programs that uh, do provide services, they all have similar, if not the same vision. It's one of those things where we're all in this thing together. Uh, things that we do over here may impact things that another department does over here. This really does create a community where people can understand what each agency does, how they operate, and I believe we're getting more efficient in our services because we're sharing resources. This Leadership Academy to me represents um, the state's commitment um, from the Department of Human Resources all the way to the governor that we're going to provide uh, leadership development for a subset of state government that serves a really important group of people in the state. Anytime we are investing in training, whether it be technical training, leadership training, um, anything of that nature, we want to make sure that we hone our skills to make sure that we are providing the very best. I hope that um, as people go through this academy, they take time out of their busy life, because we're all so busy, but to concentrate inwardly on how can they improve themselves, because by learning how to manage as leaders, we really learn how to be better people. In Tennessee's Leadership Academy for Excellence in Disability Services, we're investing today in the state leaders that will create and implement the programs and services of tomorrow for people with disabilities and their families. It's critical that our leaders from each state agency understand the full depth of all of the supports that Tennessee provides. We want to be able to make sure that there's good connections between departments, that the information flows very easily, that people don't get the runaround. We want to make sure that um, our employees have a network that they can use, and if they don't uh, know the answers, maybe they can call on someone else. That collaboration is critically important in getting to know other state agencies, other leaders from state agencies. How do we work together? to help support the person with disabilities. The hope is that our team members who are participating in this academy will, will gain an additional uh, fund of knowledge about dealing with population of individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, but also some very tangible skills so that when anybody walks through our door, we're best equipped to be able to, to meet their needs, including this particular population. We hope as a Department of Education that we continue to be able to work across our state government departments and divisions across the work that we do in Tennessee because as we work together we're going to provide a better future for our students with disabilities. We know that so many of us have work that touches our students with disabilities and as we do our work if we're not working in collaboration then we may not be able to meet the effectiveness that we all want and we all desire for our students. I really would like for them to be able to connect with with our sister agencies know who to contact when they need something, collaborate with them, work as a team together, a team of Tennessee, not just a team for each state agency that works in isolation.
more we can work together, the better our services are for people with disabilities. All of a sudden what you do is you not only bond from a, a, you know, a friendship standpoint, but you develop relationships with other departments and divisions that maybe you wouldn't have known if you hadn't been in this academy. Governor Haslam has rightly aligned Tennessee to be a leader in providing services to persons with disability by his goals and priorities for the state. His understanding and um, leadership in helping support Tennesseans with disabilities has been absolutely phenomenal and critical to the mission of the state. We have people who want to continue leading and building this pipeline of talent that can contribute from a leadership perspective, keeping things going, keeping the momentum, making sure that we're always being innovative, we're never complacent. And so a leadership development platform is really essential to any good business. And when you talk about good business, investing in your people is one of the first places you gotta start. The mindset of being one Tennessee is really, really felt in everything that we do. And we can see that by the goals um, that have been aligned and already realized uh, throughout the state. Our ability as a state to invest taxpayer dollars well and to deliver the kinds of programs and services that people with disabilities need to live full, meaningful lives and become valued members of their communities depends on leadership. We want to develop and support leaders to see things not just as they are, but as they can and should be, and then be willing and empowered to make the changes that are needed to realize that vision. It's really gratifying to me to see them come together and, and really get this new energy and motivation and become really creative about how we can make our programs more effective, um, maybe less bureaucratic, um, to serve the people that we want to serve in Tennessee.